Hey folks, this is Shock, and we just won debate number 42. I debated an atheist, he lost the debate. We're going to talk to you about that. We're going to be taking this motorcycle. This is a Suzuki SV1000. Very fun motorcycle to ride. We're going to be taking it on the mean, unforgiving, evil freeways of California. Uh, so get ready to get on this with me. First person mode. I'm going to put this camera, as you're going to see, into the helmet and we're going to ride it. Uh, so this should be a lot of fun. Now, what I'm about to tell you is one of the most bizarre debates I've ever had. Ever. So let's get on and um, also I have some good news about another atheist becoming a Christian. So here we go. So you see these Velcro straps inside here, these Velcro strips, I should say, see them? And then there's also Velcro on the camera. So watch this, I'll be hands-free so I can talk to you guys. So very small camera, goes right in front of my mouth, does not obstruct my vision, check this out. We are hands-free now. So you guys ready? You ready to ride? Here we go. Very hot day in California, waiting for all the gauges to go. Start up. Clutch in, starter button. We're start. Make sure the kick stands up. And here we go. Now, this was the most bizarre debate I have ever had versus an atheist. You guys are going to crack up laughing when I tell you what happened. Um, I'm going to do a little U-turn here and get back on the freeway over here. I had to stop and get some gas. I was running a little bit low on petrol. So here we go. U-turn real quick. I'm going to give it some good throttle and we're off. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you what happened. And um, as many of you know, and many of you don't know, I have been debating people in my, uh, hold on, let me adjust this again, since I got a red light. I have been debating people in the chat room right below this video that says uh, shockonnow.net. You see it right below here. If you click there, you'll notice when you go there, there's a round button that says enter chat, and you click it, and you don't have to download anything. It's browser-based, and you go right into our chat room. No password needed. So I thought it would be fun, because I haven't seen anyone do this anywhere on YouTube, I thought it would be fun to challenge any atheist at all. Uh, on YouTube, I've been uh, getting tons of you guys coming in, my atheist debate opponents, and we've had a good time. Uh, it's been a blast. So I've been debating atheists one right after another in the debate room, and shockingly, not one of them has had any arguments of why we should believe God doesn't exist. Now, by the way, we're getting on the freeway right here. And um, so I'm going to talk to you about a debate I did last night. And it was officially number 42. This is 42 debates in a row that atheists have lost to Christian theism. You ready? We're going to put the hammer down. Go. Let me get on the freeway real quick. It's like being on a rocket with two wheels. I have to get over one more time if this guy's going to do it. And we did it. Upshifting. Okay, let me get over two or three more lanes into the little carpool lane here. They allow you to drive here in California. We did it, guys. We're alive still. Yay for us. Yay, life. <laughs> um, okay, so here's what I got on the agenda. I put a little post-it note here. This guy comes in. And, oh, by the way, I, I we were all waiting for this guy on YouTube, Cult of Dusty is his name, C-O-L-T-O-F-D-U-S-T-Y, right, to come in. So I told him, look, uh, meet me there in the, uh, the conference room and I'll debate you. you got to have a microphone that works because otherwise you can't 
talk, you know, because our debates are actually where you can hear people talking. So I go in there and everyone's talking on the mic, people are talking back and forth, and I go, hey guys, there's, there's about 30 people in there already. I go, is Cult of Dusty here? Because I'm here to debate him. And uh, so some guy, Dusty some Smith, I, whatever he logged in, and he goes, yeah, I'm, I'm Dusty. And I said, okay, get on the mic and let's test your microphone. Because sometimes th these guys come in and they have their microphone plugged in the wrong hole. Like if you don't have a USB mic, you know how like you got to go in the back and put it in the right socket in the back of the computer. And they always have it in the wrong <laughs> connection because they never use their mic. Um, so I always tell them, make sure your mic works before the debate. You don't want to get it to debate and then you have, you can't get your mic working and then everyone thinks you're chickening out. <laughs> that happened to me before. I was going to debate. I couldn't get my mic working because I didn't have a USB mic. And I finally got it able to work, but everyone's like, oh, are you chickening out? Finally, I got it able to work and I defeated the guy in debate. But can you imagine if I wasn't able to get the microphone to work? Anyways. So Dusty kept saying he can't get his microphone to work. Cult of Dusty. So I said, well, keep working on it. Come back in. I'm going to be here all night till 10 o'clock. From, from, I was there from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock uh, at night. He never came back in. People started saying he chickened out. I don't know. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. So he wasn't able to debate me. But other atheists whose mics were able to uh, work uh, wanted to debate me, and that's what I'm going to tell you about. Now, Cult of Dusty, though, I really want to debate him. Uh, Cult of Dusty, I hope you get your mic fixed or you figure out how to work it, because he's the type of atheist that would be very entertaining to debate, because he cusses a lot and he's real angry. He makes the amazing atheist look conservative. That's how foul-mouthed Cult of Dusty is. But it would make for a great debate when I defeat him in debate, which I surely would. Not because of my talent or anything like that, because I'm just a sinner saved by grace, but because Christian theism has <laughs> way more plausible arguments and deductive reasoning and rational conclusions than the madness of atheism does. So now let's get to the other debate. I'm just about to debate this other guy. His mic, uh, he got his bike working, and this guy's name was Dank. There's a motorcycle guy here. Let's see what he's on. Dank something. D-A-N-K-E. Dank darkness or I don't can't remember what it was. Dank something. And this guy gets on. Listen to the sound of that. Isn't that awesome? This guy gets on. Oh, let me get pull block side. The guy's like, why is this guy next to me? Um, this guy gets on the Harley. And, um, well, let me go fast because everyone's getting mad at us because we're going real slow. I don't know why that guy's going real slow on these freeways. See him right there behind me, the Harley guy? So this guy gets on, and, and um, right before I'm ready to bait him, this atheist that used to be an atheist says, Hey, Shock, can I say something? I'm a Christian now. Now, I'm thinking, is this atheist fooling around and stuff? But you know what? I know this guy, and he used to be a very militant atheist, but he sat in a bunch of our presentations. I got an awesome PowerPoint presentation you got to see. Click right below here, shotgunnow.net, go in the chat room, ask me for it. I'll even give it to you for free if you want it for your computer. And he said, I want to get on the mic. I'm a Christian now. So this is an atheist that used to come in the room and harass us that is now a lot more peaceful and kind. He was actually very kind to me, and he said that he's left atheism for Christianity. Now, this is because he looked at the proof and evidence of Christianity, and he weighted against the lack of proof and evidence for atheism, and he chose rationally. Guys, another atheist left atheism. Now, let's get to the bizarre debate. If you wait to the end of this, this video, guys, I'm going to give you some free software, free games, free... Uh, programs. I'm going to show you how to get it, but you got to hear this. Let me get around there. The guy gets on, and um, I go through the cosmological argument, the teleological argument, the proof and evidence of the historicity of Jesus Christ, objective values. He agrees with me that objective values exist. 
so objective values goes on my side of the debate. He agrees that what Jesus said could be true. He agrees that God could exist. But in one part of the debate, and this is where the debate goes bizarre, he says, well, it could be, I believe a God could exist, but it could be a natural God. A natural God. Whoa, I was going to get right in that lane. So at the type, part of the debate where you get to that time where you cross-examine each other, I asked the guy, um, well, give us some arguments why you believe God could be a natural God that doesn't do supernatural things, right? Like a natural God. And um, everyone in the conference room heard him say that. At this point, he goes ballistic on the microphone and starts using the F word cussing me out. <laughs> it was like he was demon possessed. And he's like, you effing Christians. He was really mad. And he's yelling on the mic like a madman. I never said that. And I go, yeah, you said it. I got it recorded and you said it two times. And then I asked everyone in the chat room, guys, you know, did you hear him say that? Everyone, even the atheists were saying, yeah, dude, you did say a couple of times that um, it could be a natural God that created the universe. So I asked the guy, but you don't give any arguments for it. Give me some arguments. He didn't have any, guys. He clearly lost the debate. He started cussing at me in the middle of the debate. Well, even saying effing Christian. And he like just flipped out it's like a poor loser. Um, okay, now what else do I got to tell you here? Okay, now here's the key. He had absolutely no arguments for atheism. Zero, nada, zilch, none. He didn't give us any reasons why we should believe God doesn't exist. In fact, he said everything Jesus said could be true. Well, if everything that Jesus said could be true, then he's positing that God exists. So this is uh, debate number 42 that atheists have lost. Um, let's see what else I can tell you. Oh, <clears throat> a lot of people have been watching this PowerPoint presentation that we do. It's a PowerPoint presentation that I do. Now, I don't do it when I'm debating atheists because you know, I don't want them to say it's unfair because they don't have a PowerPoint presentation. But sometimes if I'm casually speaking to people and um, I, I'm not in a debate, I'll, I'll show them this PowerPoint presentation. And I want to invite you, yes, you, to come see the PowerPoint presentation. I will personally, I will personally give you a live PowerPoint presentation on arguments for existence of God. Come see the presentation because um, I use the same arguments in my debates. I just don't show the power presentation while I'm debating because... Um, hold on a second. <laughs> this guy's like stopping in front of me. But I use these same arguments. These are the arguments and the proofs and evidence that are causing atheists to leave atheism in droves. So, this last debate, number 42, the guy said it could be a natural God then when I said, well, give us some arguments for that, you just can't claim it. You have to say, and here's why. That's how you debate. Opinions are worthless in a debate. You have to give some plausible reasoning. At that point, he flipped out, started cussing me out. And, and um, that's when you know you've lost the debate when you lose your temper. Atheist, listen. See if you can get the amazing atheist or Thunderfoot uh, or Cult of Dusty to muster up enough courage to debate me. Why are they afraid to debate me? I'm gonna tell you why. It's because I'm a I'm an ex-atheist, I'm a Christian theist, and I can prove that atheism is full of crap. I can prove it. 42 atheists have lost in a row. Ask yourself why, think about it. 42 in a row, guys. This shows that atheism is what's the word i'm looking for as i tap my finger to my formerly bible speaking reading mouth what is the word atheism is a bunch of crapola yes Woohoo! number 42